I'm going to make a short video on a horizontal router that I made. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, a couple of years ago I did a job, a massive job inside the house, home improvement, and uh, I needed to route some uh, baseboard, and uh, the baseboard was one by eight, and uh, here's a piece right here, matter of fact. And this I did standing up on edge on my router table, which is over here. And uh, was a hard job, very hard job. Had a lot of ruined pieces, had pieces that um, chirped, with a bit chirped over the top of the surface. You really don't want to have to uh, try to make baseboard on a standard router table. So here's a horizontal router that I made. I wanted a router uh, that, uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't have to mount on a base. Like I've got this on a four-legged base. Uh, so what I did was I took my Ryobi stand here and I took um, one of these, I don't even know what these are called, but they're the brackets that go along with the stand. I bought them on Amazon.com and they attach this way. And you can you can see they're slotted to mount tools in them. And then they lock in. Now this is an old stand. I bought it probably about 10 years ago. Uh, I just bought these recently on Amazon. They're relatively cheap, about $30 for a pair. And so I bought a pair for this and I bought a pair for something else, but you can see what I did is I built the frame up on top of the brackets with it just like this. They're bolted through the side. This is the, the the frame for the horizontal router. It's bolted to the side here. And I've got the plate in the middle there, which is made of HDPE. I made it on my CNC router uh, and we'll take a little look at the front here. You can see, well, I've got this backwards now because I'm working on it, but this is actually the front of the router and uh, a lot of clutter in the background. I apologize for that, but this is my garage. So what we've got here are two, two supports, quarter inch slot, quarter inch slot set back a quarter inch, and then the router plate is a half inch HDPE. And uh, I don't know if I can get a shot of this. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. But you can see it's um, what do they call this? I don't even know a rabbit. Uh, the edge of the HDPE is set back a quarter inch. The face of the HDPE is flush with the two support sections. Now, these are just supports for the work table. Work table will go on top of these supports. They had to be raised by two and a quarter inches. You can see I got a couple of pieces of wood stacked up here on top of the bracket. And that's because I want the work surface to be above the rollers. I want to be able to use these rollers. You know, they extend out on both sides for long pieces, but I wanted enough uh, height adjustment so that I could dial it in the way I wanted. So the work surface is, uh, I don't know, a couple inches maybe couple inches above the rollers. And uh, let's see what else we got here. I made a handle again on my CNC router. I don't know if you can see this, but the nut is the nut on the bottom of this. Uh, oh, looking at the wrong thing here. The nut on the bottom of this is let into the uh, HDPE. It's cut into it. Uh, just just like this one is, as a matter of fact. If this is recessed into the HTPE. I cut this out on a CNC router. It's actually undersized so that the nut needs a press fit to fit into the uh, HTPE. 
Uh, let's see, moving on here, you know, we've got a half, standard half-inch threaded rod. Uh, let me come around here and then to the back. And uh, a couple of lock nuts. And sandwiched between the two lock nuts, there's a bearing here and a bearing on the bottom. And uh, I'll show you the bearing later, but I got them at the Tractor Supply. Uh, cost about three bucks a piece. But the two nuts are between the bearing, and it makes for a very, very smooth uh, movement. And I haven't measured the up-down on this yet, but it's, it's a pretty fine adjustment. And uh, having cut out the I have drilled for the for the router, but I uh, haven't cut out the center, as you can see. And uh, that's about as far as we're going to take this first video. And I'll shut the camera off, and uh, we'll look at the work surface and um, finish this thing off. But I thought this was a good idea to set it up on a stand like this. You can actually. I don't know if I can, you know, I don't have a, a tri, tripod right now, but looking around this way when the work surface is on here, you can actually feed work through this router right-handed. Uh, I'll expand on that a little later when I get the work surface on. Okay, this is going to be the uh, work surface. Well, hopefully I can do this one-handed, but uh, you can see it's cut out. And it's cut out to fit around the uh, frame. Let me see if I can just slide this in place. And then we'll screw it down. And, uh, can't do this one handed. Kind of tight. There we go. There we go. That's how it fits in. Let's see if I can get a longer shot here. And that's what it's going to look like. Got to put a couple of uh, side curtains on here and on here. And the reason I used to buy under here and so that I'd have something to nail into. So I'm going to just screw this to the surface. Uh, I'm going to kind of sink some holes and use some screws to screw it to the surface. And then when I'm done with that, I'll do the side rails, the two side rails. So I said uh, I would show you the bearing. This is the bearing I bought from Tractor Supply. I don't have the part number, but they got a drawer full of them, at least at my place anyway. You can see it's got a flange on it. And uh, this bearing, I used a one inch Forstner bit, and it's bearing slightly oversized so that you can just pound it right into the, into the hole. Uh, it's a nice press fit. And the center is what uh, the nut rests on. The nut rests on the center of the uh, bearing. Makes for an excellent uh, slide. I got my helper here, my dog here. Uh, he's afraid of noises. So he's hiding under the table now. Go sit down, Scooter. Go ahead. Go sit down. So, uh, uh, I'll take a little break now and I'll screw the work surface down. Probably, uh, that's for the side curtains there. Probably do side curtains too at the same time. And I'll uh, be almost finished and all I have to do is mount the router. Um, just one, one other thing here. I just, uh, I don't know if I can do this later on, but this is what I mean. I intentionally cut this. Let's see if I can get a longer shot here. The side of the table is intentionally cut away from uh, the the mount so that I can fit my body in here it's thusly I can fit my body in here and I can actually 
when I'm doing a piece, uh, the, the side curtain or rail will be here. I can actually slide the piece through right-handed. Uh, a lot of these horizontal routers, I, I think, are, are pretty awkward because you have to feed the work left-handed, and uh, we're all accustomed to doing it the other way around. So anyway, let me get to work here. Okay, as you can see, I got one side done of, uh, I guess you call it a side apron. Uh, you can see I used pocket screws, and I used a level across the front of the router faceplate um, to assure that it's in line and it is and I just screwed it in and I was going to use a right angle bracket like this but uh, it's so stiff don't think it needs it so I'm just going to leave it the way it is and I'll take the brackets back to Lowe's before I do the other side, I think I'm probably going to get the uh, innards of the uh, router mounted and get that whole board in the plate. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, I've seen others uh, build these things and I saw the MLCS, I guess the name of the company is MLCS. They sell router bits. I bought bits from them before. On their version, they have a couple of knobs on the front that lock the plate, the router plate, in place after you've adjusted the, uh, the height of the bit. And uh, I'm not sure I need that because this thing is just, um, I don't know, it's hard to believe that it would vibrate uh, or move. Um, while I'm routing, I think all I really need is a maybe a strap around the handle here, a little bungee cord or something maybe. I have the knobs and the hardware I bought from uh, Lowe's. I bought some also from uh, um, Tractor Supply, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what I can work out tonight. So I'm lacking an idea on where to mount them. They, what they do is they, uh, you, you twist them and it locks the plate in place by friction. But uh, I don't know. I don't know where to put them, to tell the truth. Well, you know, I'll work something out if I have to, but uh, right now I'm going to ignore it. And uh, earlier I mentioned, by the way, I was, you know, making baseboard a couple of years ago. I didn't mention the length of the boards I was dealing with. Most of the boards were 12 footers plus. And trying to balance a 12 foot on its edge on a router that size, a router table, that's probably only about, uh, I don't know, about four foot, I think. Four foot long, I don't remember anymore, but it's around four feet. And even if you've got a couple of uh, stands on either end, uh, roller stands, uh, it still was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the bit was uh, chattering. And uh, like I said, I, I had a few pieces I had to waste. So this is definitely the way to go. Hopefully I'll be ready to cut some boards tomorrow. Uh, pretty much finished with this. And then I can okay, move got on. the stand set up outside. We're going to take this thing for a little test drive. Right now it's uh, sitting here in the garage. And it's pretty much finished. It's got the mount on the back for the uh, router, but the router is not inserted. And once I get it on the table outside, I'll uh, put the router in and we'll take it for a test drive. Get it installed. Hopefully, I'm not going to problem with it. 
just kept on this thing now. I'm doing it right. thing set in here right I have to get back to you because uh, I've I uh, took the router out but I never installed it and I'm having a little problem installing it so I'll have to stop the video for now okay operator fault uh, operator error had the uh, router upside down let's give this a try it's just a one speed router, it's a cheap skill, $60 router. Uh, this would be the first go on this. bad. Only two passes. Uh, of course it needs more than two passes, but uh, nice smooth cut. Did notice the handle did move, so I'm going to have to lock this down. And I had an idea to lock it down with, uh, um, yeah, what are they called? They're clamps. Um, be back. I'll remember here. Now, forgive me, I can't remember the name of these clamps, but uh, this is what I was talking about. A toggle clamp. A toggle clamp. That's what it is. Uh, maybe right here. Toggle clamp. Probably up here. So that um, I can lock the plate down. The handle might move still a little bit, but the plate won't move. That's about it. So one here. One here. We uh, lock the... Uh, plate down and uh, I can't think of anything else it works perfect I'll have to take it out tomorrow and do all my baseboard um, can't do it here I hate to do this on the driveway because the uh, I don't know if you can see if it's in a shot here but there's sawdust all over the driveway right now as you can see I, I rarely ever cut anything out here on the driveway because it makes a mess but uh, tomorrow I'll take it out on the lawn, out there, set it up out on the lawn. And I got about uh, uh, six 12-footers to do. And then I cut the 12-footers up you know, to, uh, to do the room into pieces. One last look at what we got going on here. I'll take this thing out of the tripod. the uh, router mounted. Like I said, it's a cheap router. It's a skill. I think it cost me $59. Um, one speed. Unlike my, my other router, which is uh, variable speed. Uh, had a Triton router, which went bad on me. $250 router. Unbelievable. A damn armature through a conductor. Two conductors missing on the armature. Can't get another armature. So that's that. Oops. I'm with the camera here. Forgive me. And let's see if we can get a longer shot. This is the back. And you pretty much get the gist of it. You know, with the rails mounted under the table. And uh, do have these slides. Okay. This is going to help me with the 12 footer. Like I said, the table is slightly higher than these rollers. I can adjust the roller height. 
Oops. Made the wrong adjustment here. Yeah. Roller height goes up and down. That and any height I want. So. so I'm all set to go. I got a only five pieces. All this work for five or six 12 footers. And then I'll put this thing away for another two years. <laughs> Three years, maybe. Who knows? But you got the gist of it. Hope you learned something from this video. to say here I uh, mentioned the bearings and the two lock nuts one thing I did not mention is that under this handle I did mention that that was uh, that nut was led into the handle uh, my CNC router there's a pocket there the shape of the nut what I didn't me uh, mention is that the nut is silver soldered to the this is the only one that's silver soldered the one on the bottom which is in the pocket or cavity of the handle but that nut is stationary and is silver soldered to the uh, threaded rod so it doesn't slip obviously all right nice smooth action on this boy this is i might make a lift like this for my router table since my tri triton went bad uh, i got a uh Uh, Home Depot brand, I forget what the brand is. Um, uh, what is the brand there? Rigid, rigid router. It's sitting here on the table here on, with the plate, keyboard on top of it. But uh, this is variable speed. But they say you can micro adjust it. Well, this mechanism is terrible. Okay, you have to get up under the table and jiggle it with your with your hand like this as you're adjusting the uh, height of the bit. Otherwise, forget about it. it it's an aluminum and an aluminum casing. As a matter of fact, so is that skill. A terrible setup. The Triton had a uh, nylon gear uh, drive, and it was beautiful for setting the height, but uh, it's an unreliable router. Uh, and there's no support for it in the USA. Cost two, 250 cost me $250. It was an MLF001. And uh, I used it three times. And the armature literally blew apart. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alrighty. Video's going longer than I, I wanted already. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, let this one go. Enjoy.